Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey, and I'm back with Petey's Regret. So this is uh, the kicker bike, and this was like 2005. This is what it looked like in the kitchen when I started with it. I used to smoke, and like I still had the cover for my drill bits. Got those from Big D Discount, and uh, there I am, much younger and much happier. Much skinnier. So yeah, most important thing. Oh look, I built something there. Not sure what that is. Probably a duct tape caddy. Uh, here I am. <laughs> you can see how I. Oh, there's the boat motor. Yeah, happier, much much happier days. <laughs> you can see. And um, glugging down something with ice. Probably a Verner's ginger ale. And there's the kicker bike. Here it is. Uh, this is my failure. This is my lament. I built this thing. We built it. It was a lot of work, a lot of wiring. And it's got like uh, brake, flashing brake light t turn signals. It's got these uh, lights, LED lighting system and various horns and sirens and noisemakers and then this supports a boom box a kicker box for music and when i got done with it i realized that um ergonomically it was so heavy and so hard to pedal that um i need to put a motor on it i really that would be the only thing i could do for this situation Oh, we didn't need to see that. Yeah, did you uh, look through any of the pictures? No, nah, I didn't look through any of the pictures. Uh, no. Used to use a PlayStation 5501 to listen to our music. And there's the kicker. There's the sound system. We tore this apart today. Um, yeah, this one is supposed to run uh, uh, off of DC, and I've been running it off of AC, so it makes a real unusual noise like some atomic crickets. But I, uh, the, the dyno, the generator, um, I, I can convert it to DC or it, it actually puts out AC. So I chose to run one of these, uh, got these from the junkyard. One of them ran off of DC and one, look, I'm, you can see my, one of my bad fingers taped up. One of them ran off of DC, one of them ran off of AC on purpose to m make different noises. And what an impressive bicycle it was. It was just too hard to pedal. But yeah, this is the kicker bike. This is my lament. This is the this project killed me. Okay, there's a, uh, this here is a speedometer, pedometer thing. And this, my buddy Scotty gave me this, which enabled a lot of buttons and the turn signal. And then these were for, for noisemakers. But you could do quite a bit of different uh, noise things on here with the combinations of these switches and the different horns that they went to while you were pedaling. Um, this was a 110 decibel shrieker. This is an old Radio Shack multi siren, and then this is a uh, straight from the junkyard. But you could kind of like weep, up, up, weep, do, weep, up, up, wham, like do like different things with these uh, hitting these buttons. Um, this is an old incandescent light that I uh, had a high power LED unit in there. Um, really a lot of time went into this. The wiring, it was a massive job. And I learned about bicycle repair when I was a kid. And I did a lot of that, a real lot of it. Um, I really like this uh, horn in here. I really like that. And this was my grandfather's badge, which didn't someone steal that? Yeah, I think you said you thought Michael stole it, but yeah, yeah stole it off of my bike in the hallway. Unbelievable! This is my grandfather's. Here's the turn signals, the kicker bike, Petey's lament, and then here's all this breakaway wiring here. Uh, the circuitry, here's the dyno. 
I had two dynos on this bike. I had one in the front and one in the rear. This is a computer power supply box and it has the diode bridge and capacitance circuitry and different adapter boards that I had hooked up to do different things. It was a really, really complex project. This uh, piece here, this is an ironing board that I disassembled and hammered on and refashioned it into what it became. These different supports that were installed to create the uh, this this thing here, which housed the the radio. Can't believe that kid stole my uh, badge, my grandfather's badge. What a what a jerk! And I, I treated that kid like he was my own son too. So here there was CDs in here, uh, music CDs and. This was a backup uh, music system. And there's two different amplifiers. This was the main little cheap 80 watt road gear, $20 amp. And then uh, this was a MP3 disc man that had this foam shock absorber. And it worked, it worked really well. It was just difficult to pedal. And this is a voltmeter because there was two 12 volt 5 mah cells inside the radio but yeah uh, two kickstands because it would topple over <laughs> if you only had one but this is uh pd's bicycle and so someone commented about Pee Wee herman and uh i took offense to that Pee Wee herman didn't build his fucking bicycle So the dyno actually had the option to recharge the batteries while you rode. And I do remember that this malfunctioned and it was, it was going off in the hall. Um, the bike was chained up in the hallway and my wife woke up. Your, your thing's going off in the, we, 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 110 dBs. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that was when the kid stole my sheriff's badge off of there. Well, there's the little odometer. So we did take this thing out. I, I rode it down by the canal and rode it around here. I used to take it out and ride it around and the neighborhood kids would just kind of stare at me. But I uh, wish I would have put a motor on this bike. I still, I still have it. I disassembled the, kick, the radio today. If I was going to do this again, I would move this back, give yourself some room, and just have a couple of uh, smaller speakers and a Class D amp up here with an MP3. But when I did this, MP3 players didn't exist, or they were more out of my price range, I should say. But yeah, this is Petey's Lament. This was my, my big foolhardy. Oh, my 240. Oh, my God. Try 120. Sweden, man, that car, it had 14 uh, sirens and horns under the hood, Two, three different PA systems by the time I got done. Had all kinds of circuit bent Fisher Price toys built into it. One touch weather radio with a dedicated speaker in the back. Um, I think it had somewhere around a thousand watts for the stereo with a, tw a pair of 12s with uh, a thumper box in the back and a bunch of custom amplifier work and just loaded with speakers. It was incredibly loud. We used to just play Mel Banana, Lightning Bolt, and Phantomus was what we listened to in that car. Back in the good old days, indeed. So sad. So, so sad, indeed. But yeah, this is my big failure. The, the one thing in my life that I built that really um didn't work out so well <laughs> but we're gonna hop over and take a look at the radio now like so this project was kind of a uh, pd's folly it was a lot of work a lot of late nights we put a lot of time in this project worked but there were some major issues with it now this is the sound system minus the speakers um there's some smaller speakers in here and then there's two internal 12 volt little sealed lead like acid batteries and then the wiring there's some converters, some uh, converter that busts the 12 volts down to three volts 
to power the uh, Walkman. Now this is, uh, I call it a Walkman, it's a, it's a Discman that actually plays MP3 data discs. So you can burn a ton of music on a CD-ROM and put that in your normal CD player, it won't play. Well this is not a normal CD player, it plays MP3 data discs. Uh, now the reason that it, it's flopping around is because this was on the back of a bicycle and these things are vibration sensitive so they can't shake around a lot and when I initially tested it, it didn't work. Uh, as soon as you would start writing, the, the music would stop until I cut this chunk of foam and served it as a rudimentary shock absorber. So it does have a backup system in case the mains fail. This computer speaker uh, with bass and treble control and volume powers these smaller speakers. So if you want to go quiet mode and just have light music, you can use just these or shut that off. Here's a, a digital a readout with the switching to um, uh, change batteries because there's two batteries in, inside of it. Master power switch, toggles, there's all kinds of switches on here and I don't remember what they do. But uh, it had an internal 3-volt uh, power supply busting 12 down to 3 to power this so you never had to worry about running out of batteries. It had this little light amplifier, this PC speaker to power these guys here. And then on the back, uh, the main amplifier is this uh, Road Gear little amp, which actually is not a bad little amp. Um, but it's not Class D, so it's not as efficient on the uh, not guzzling power end of things. So this is part of the kicker bike. This is a bicycle with a kicker box on the back. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually have got to shoot some pictures of it because we have it, it's here. And then I'm gonna go through those pictures and you're gonna get the rest of the story on Petey's Folly or the project that I regret. Now, if you're enjoying the music, this is an album that I recorded called Semantical Nightmare. It's on this YouTube channel. You can listen to the singles. You can listen to the preliminary mix. You can listen to the mellow mix. I went back and added Mellotron, which is a specific type of rudimentary uh, sampling synthesizer created in the 60s. It has a very distinctive uh, tonality and timbre and sound. So I, either one of the versions of this album are, are worth your time. I, I would tell you listen to the mellow mixes. They're a little bit fuller, but um, people responded well to this. You know, it's hard for me to judge something I create. I create it. I'm all hot and bothered. This is great for a couple of weeks. <laughs> then reality sets in and you realize, oh, it's just another song. Uh, but people tend to, to uh, go out of their way to let me know that they really liked this particular album, although it's not, it's not an album, it's just some songs that I recorded in the living room. But if you wanted to check that out, if you haven't yet, uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you here talking about electronic projects that relate to music or silliness. We're making noise, that's pretty much what I do here.